All right, oh, and welcome. That's right, we are on the sixth episode here of the great TWA. To some. And last week we witnessed the second founding father go down as Hacks defeated Myth for to retain his TWA All-Star Championship. Oh, that was such what? a brutal match. But what other unanswered questions do we have? Like, what was in that briefcase last week that MDG got from Mr. Damn Gorgeous? The suspense is killing me, Donnie. I know, but also we have a blockbuster main event tonight, better known as a triple threat, now called a 3KO uh, match. 3KO match? That's, <laughs> oh, that's right, but tonight, seriously, we are featuring Showtime versus Yusaki versus Blocko uh, in a massive triple threat match that's tonight. It's a double. Oh, you can't say it. Survival. And there is also oh, the Hard Havoc Eight Man Hard Havoc Survival Match survival. for the Hard Havoc Championship. Survival. Not only just let's for the Hard Havoc rolling. Championship, the vacant Hard Havoc Championship. But let's get things a rolling. Two, there we go. Oh, there we go. Damn diamond, ladies and gentlemen. Blue. And diamond blue. You witness this guy back in rage help MDG win his first TWA championship, and now here he is tonight competing on his own. Wait, what is he doing? What is, wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait, red? Where are the they? red? Red? What shirt? What is this? What shirt? Wait, if I'm in red, got fired though. What, what is this? I mean, you know, it's thin out. Oh, is it blue or is it red or I, I must just be confused tonight, Donnie. I... I'm Maybe curious. He's... All right, well the challenge over. And here comes the challenge over. I'm curious too, Donnie. And I feel sorry Sexually. for whichever M Diamond this is because Emol is coming out. Emol. 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 Bye. There he is, Donnie. Originally a savage from the wild. But they're saying he's been uh, like going to some kind of uh, behavior school to become more proper. Almost as if he's being reinstitutionalized. Look at that. Whoa, there he goes. And uh, there's no ref, Donnie. No, there isn't, Donnie. Well, why is there no ref? Hold on. We just gotta find the ref real quick. Wait, you guys pause? Hold on. <laughs> All right, Ooh, and yeah, as we get back. the and as we get the bell rung, <laughs> the ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and Amal's immediately on the attack. Up oh, and Irish whip. Other oh, ring. Up. Oh, there's that other ring. Oh, and he goes all the way back. Oh, oh side what, kick. Yeah, what a heel kick. And he uh, kick, kick, kick. I'm I guess you truly I'm can't take the savage out of this character known as Imal, despite him being minorly institutionalized. And the camel clutch oh, the has camel been locked clutch. in. <laughs> and he is. Oh my God! He beat him till his hair turned black. <laughs> that that is just sick. Oh, he's just destroying this creep. Oh man, look at that leg lock. That's like a modified leg lock, Donnie. This guy locked in. Oh, he's got the rope. And Frankenstein is the ref, and he's. Oh, oh, wait a minute! Go. That's the MKO! He did the MKO out of nowhere! He did the MKO out of nowhere, Donnie! Is this it? Wait a minute, and one, one two, two! Oh, uh, the MKO! Two. Oh, okay. hey, he just kicks out like it was nothing, and he's back on the attack. You can't get him down that easy, even though the MKO... And he's going up! Oh, spinning heel kick! Right off Jeez. the top! I didn't even know what that was! And, and apparently he... Oh, man! Apparently, Amal's trying on some new headgear. This, this is gonna be it. Oh here we go. Here we go. God. What strength and what power? The hell, Donis. Oh, oh, that's it. That's Count it out. Oh, One, really two, three. That was like a modified burning hammer. Yes, it was. And your winner is the Savage, now oh reinstitutionalized, Emal. 
a mall is a force to be reckoned with, Donica. Incredible. I would hate to get ring of that. And what an opening for this show. He just puts the rep like he was nothing. This guy's crazy. Can't wait to see all the other matches. Oh, he didn't go that way, though. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know. What a match we just witnessed with the I, returning Imal. I know. Well, he returned last show, but oh my God, I've never seen anybody do that to M Diamond ever. Yeah, he it's dominated just. dominated him, dude, and he kicked out of the, the MKO. It was crazy. I know. Uh, and w here we are leading into our next match. Um, tonight, um, the main event, I don't know if you guys have talked much about it, the Blocko Yusaki Showtime is going to be huge. And before that, the Hard Havoc Championship. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, but what is this? Uh, I guess we're not gonna get to our next match yet, Donnie. It's Commissioner Hacks. He is boasting one half of the TWA's assets right now as its current commissioner and king. Come back. Racing your friends and sponsors TWA. With myself, the All Star King. He defeated Myth in dramatic fashion last week, Donnie. As I said at the stage, as I said at the start, he has now defeated two of the four. I didn't yes. expect anything from me winning last week. Who would expect it? This one went down. It was, it was well. nuts. I thought Who Myth had it, but he rolled out of the Swanton bomb, MVP. the Haley's Comet. I don't expect them much Hexen. of a champion. I mean, what did you have this belt for? Maybe uh, one, two shows. You never deserved this belt. It belonged to me. Now on the other matters. Not only did I beat Myth, but I beat MDG. That makes me the only person that has ever defeated two former All-Star champion holders. He's right, Don. Back to back. He's on the street That makes me now. unstoppable. An unstoppable head of this corporation. An unstoppable head of the TWA. An unstoppable champion. Nothing can stop this. Well, my next draft pick. Mr. Damn Gorgeous, the other commissioner. Speaking of what happened to TWA, here comes the WLF half. He has already made his first two draft picks. One in the Rockstar MDG and one in the Million Dollar Guy. Who's accompanying him now is his new bodyguard and confidant. Wow, the two well, look we had here. MDG. What brings you out here to my ring while well, I'm giving my message to my people? Not your people, but my people. You're half my people, and this is half of my ring. But it'll soon be all of my ring. So, um, let's go ahead and get this uh, first round draft thing out of the way. Because I have a couple in mind that, uh, that I need to get. Bye, fine. Let's get on with it. Well, I they're going to do their draft picks face to face, Donnie. Yeah, and I believe Hax has the next draft pick. Yep, he's up. You're all sure. right. This is what I'll do. You have your first draft pick. Actually, two. And you have your right hand man. This is what I'll do. His second My draft, next pick. draft Drum roll. pick will be none other than the first on our camera show All Star Champion holder. Showtime. Showtime. Oh. What? Oh. Showtime has been drafted to the TWA half. Well, he, well, Mr. Damn Gorgeous sacrificed it going for cash, but he obviously knew what he was doing or whatever. Wow. Yes, yes, so get on with your decision. Who will you pick as your next draft pick? He looks a little befuddled, Donnie. Looks like he was thrown completely off his game by that I last really, draft. I can't believe he thought that he would pass up on a showtime there. Come on. I guess I'll have to go with 
you suck. Oh, the only undefeated hard havoc champion in yes. history. My oh, God. Broke block of street. You sucky. Very well. This is what I'll do for you. I'll counter you with none other than the mechanical ape. Oh, Blocko, Donnie. Two of the three that are not only rivals, but in the main event tonight, along with the first draft pick of the night, wow, Showtime. This first round is heated. It's like a match, Donnie. How will the WLF counter the TWA in this instance? I guess I'll have to get the Hunter now. Oh, South Star Champion, the Hunter. <laughs> he is now a former two-time tag team you champion, I believe. Well, this is what I'll give to you. I'll be giving you none other than Shadow Man. Oh my god. Wow. Pick so far. This is a game of chess. Whatever you counter with, I have a countermeasure. I believe they are at four apiece now, yep. Donnie. MDG well, has the well, last pick. Oh, the guy that defeated Mr. Sexy, Shadow Man, bravo, and. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Um, well, for my last draft pick, I see you have yourself your right hand man. I mean, I gotta give it to you that. You know, my old man had skull. I mean, you gotta have extra insurance. You know, you know, took yours out by getting Mr. Uh, former Cash, whatever he's calling himself, uh, money dude, whatever the fuck it is. Anyway. Whoa, watch the language. Kids, watch this. Now, on to my next draft pick. I'm taking out insurance for myself as well, Mr. M. Grotesque, you mongrel. Here he comes. Well, you may not be saving money with Geico Insurance, but you are getting the very final draft pick of the TWA in the insurance policy known as the Mall. He just came fresh off a match with them diamonds. He's also going to be Hex's bodyguard, like his right hand man. It's uh, a counter to uh, Mr. Damn Gorgeous getting a million dollar guy. I mean, this is definitely a blockbuster draft. I brought him under my command. I brought him under my rule. And he will fight my war. You brought a war to me, and I'll be bringing a war back to you. We'll be going head to head, mano a mano. There's no end to this but bloodshed. Bloodshed. Are you prepared, you might have Mr. Your, Dan? You might have test. your draft picks. I have my first round draft picks, and we'll we'll fight over the other ones. But uh, there's something I wanted to say, and that's uh, I'll tell you a little something about your your father, the commissioner. He was an evil and twisted bastard. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I took him out. I'm now the figurehead of this company. And I can see that you have the potential to be just like him. And sometimes you have to become your enemy to defeat him. What? That's what I'm doing. Because I'll do anything to take over. And it doesn't matter what it is. Keep scratching and clawing, you mongrel. You'll never reach up to my height. This is the pedigree you can't reach. This is the height, the wall you can't overreach. You can't get over. <laughs> Keep trying. Your attempts are nothing but a monkey trying to throw rocks at the moon. The rivalry between the TWA and the WLF is definitely unfolding right before our eyes yes, as we see them walk off with a smirk. Wow. Oh, what ladies and gentlemen, draft. welcome back to the GWA. In, wow. Intense draft picks by the two commissioners. Oh, I, I can't believe it. believe it. Our next, next match, match, match for the night, for the night is, a is a rematch between, between Javier, Javier and, and Sandman. Sandman. Coming out now, Donnie. Coming out now, Donica. Is Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> Wow, I've, I've never seen this blatant copying um. for the rest of development. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as we see the pizza being flashed in front of the screen from mm. our good sponsors at Domino. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Sandy Man, Ali Ali Akbar. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, is right. You bet. Makes you wonder if he has any C4 hidden in those uh, pockets there, eh, uh, hey, Donnie? Ooh. I hope not. Because yeah. we'll be having tacos tonight. <laughs> tacos? Because there will be whatever the Mexican guy's name is coming out. Javier. Or is he Spanish? Javier Lapiter Marquez will be pieces everywhere. Oh, snap. Shake, shake. Oh, oh shake, shake. shake. We're shaking. We're shaking. We're shaking. You're shaking Spirit, it so hard that the sombrero fell right off. Hola, senorita. He called us women, Donnie. Eh, might as well be. Dance, you Mexican man. Dance, Mexican. Dance. <laughs> so full of spice. <laughs> it's very nice and full of spice for Senor Marquez. All right, let's get this match on it. Oh, they called him a. This is a rematch from last week. What's going on? What the? Oh, okay, ref is emerging <laughs> from the depths of the pit. <laughs> ding, ding, oh, ding ding. ding. And um, apparently and zombies this rise match. out from under the ring now and everything. This match He's only is... making one motion and he looks kind of depressed. And for some reason he has on a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I mean, you know, zombies can't be looking in the light. Yeah. Oh, and this Mexican match. Or Arabian. And it starts. A oh. Swing. A swing. Hip toss. And there's that uh, Mexican takedown. <laughs> And a Mexican roll up. There's a Mexican dodge. And that's a Mexican flip. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So and a Mexican pin. And a one and a two. That and was a Mexican pin. Yes, it was. There's a lot of Taco Bell sauce going on here. And wait oh, a minute. What, what did he? It, it, it looks like he uh, caught himself wrong on the uh, top rope. Oh, and a pin. And uh, one, one, two. two. Count. <laughs> and that was the uh, zombie count of our referee. That's zombie spring. <laughs> oh! And there's the Irish whip. That was a Mexican flip. <laughs> and there is that Mexican drop kick. <laughs> there is nothing non-Mexican about this guy. Except, isn't that, he <laughs> Spanish? And there's isn't that he like SPO? from Spain? Like a Spaniard? And there's the basic takedown. And oh, the and the ref is, is out. Down. Ref is out. And slowing down the, fa the pace a little bit with that front face lock. <sighs> Trying to keep him down so he's not on the that offense. That there is a Saudi Arabian headlock, which doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Mexican headlock. <laughs> Everything rolls off the tongue like Mexican And what headlock. is it going for here? Oh, there's swinging neck breaker. And into the cover and one, a two, two a, oh, oh, there's two. So close, so close. Uh, back oh, on again, it. Again. One, one, two. two. Uh, roll over. One, one, two. two. And two only. And with the hip oh, up. Oh, flip up and roll. <laughs> and we love, to, and he's apparently using this aerial offense. Underlay, underlay, underlay. Underlay. He's saying hurry. What is he saying hurry? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Uh, what a German from the top to the bottom. Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern to the suplex, back. If you will. And there's a one, two, two and, and a rope break. <laughs> Ain't that right? Rope date. Javier definitely saved himself on that. And one, two, and he kicked out. So Kick close. out. Too many of these two counts. It's definitely a oh, fast pace tackle. At least. It's not the Sandman's usual offense. Usually he'd be going at a slower, more kicking and pace, whipping and eating and hurting balls and uh, stickles. His chachis, his chachis he, he's, are hurting. His chachis are hurting. He's trying to get himself back into it. He's feeling it in <laughs> his Mexican loins. <laughs> trying to you know, get the banana I hammock back in order. And, I and then, oh, what is this? An Irish oh, whip? Yeah. What'd you do with that big Mexican? Oh! Mexican tequila sunrise off the top. 
<laughs> and as the uh, rip begins to count them out, <laughs> one, uh, one uh, to Molly. Daddy's still over. on the ropes. And as they get up, get up. Oh, shoved against the turnbuckle. Into the turnbuckle he goes. In, they tackle. With the brutal shoulder block. What is this? He's grabbing him? Oh, wait, oh there's a sunset sunset flip. flip. One, sunset. two, and two. Oh, my God. Kicked out of that. Can't believe it. Good what God, is this? You guys were fooling me. Hey, oh, and dancing. dancing. The he dancing, Donnie. The and dancing. dancing. Get the jig and jig and jig and jig, boy. Oh, there's that leg drop. Into boy. the pin. Two. Yep. Two again. Two again. Man, I thought this was going to be a repeat of last week. Who won last week? I forget. Because I think Sandman won last matter. week. <laughs> I think Sandman won last week. I wonder who will win this week, Donnie. Oh, and I don't know, kicks but he's and punches. He's definitely showing and a uh, unique offense. Oh, yeah. Just kicking and fighting and dancing and making tacos. This is off the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Maracas are all oh. in the face. What is all he doing? in the face. Oh, oh and it's a submission. In the face. And there's that hurricane oh. with a roll up. One, two, two three. three. Oh, it's over. That's it's right. over. Can run a roll up. He probably calls Play this guy's in music. I mean, what more can you say about this guy? Not only is he entertaining, and the ref is apparently grabbing some kid by the crowd and blessing him now, but we don't usually do that here, so... Not usually. Not usually. Not usually. It's very nice. <laughs> so full of spice. Spice. All right, we're going to go to our next match or skit because that was just too interesting. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the TWA. Coming out now, we got Mr. Myth wanting to uh, talk about some things, and let's bring it. I wonder. This is a match, just like an interim set. Swimmer bit definitely probably on this man's mind after his devastating loss to the still TWA champion, King Hat. Yes, he lost to King Hat. See what he has to say, Donovan. Donovan. Don. All right. Don. So, Don. I thought about so, this pretty long. I thought about this pretty long. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> got know, some notes long and hard. Excuses about why I lost to Hacks last week. Like Wayne Gee came out here and attacked me before the match, or how he found the loophole to low blow my brains out to win the match. But I'm not. Truth is, Hacks beat me. Fair and square. He was the better guy, the better wrestler. So, I know when I've been defeated. Um, the thing about Hax is, is he, he's at the peak of his athleticism now. Like, he's better than he's ever been. And I would know, I've competed with him in the past. So, um, <clears throat> me and some other people used to think that, you know, Hax. He just got the title from his dad, who stripped it from MDG, blah, blah, blah. He never really earned the title. So we used to think and say in the back, like, oh yeah, you know, is he really worthy of being the All-Star Champion? And after wrestling him, he's a champion. Plain and simple. A much more humble side of myth than you would expect. You know, I've, I've had a pretty good career here. Like, you know, I was gone for like a couple years, came back, 
pulled one on Blocko. Uh, I basically uh, took the All-Star title match from Blocko, uh, stole the All-Star title match from Blocko, and stole the show from Showtime. Um, I had a really good run, was the All-Star champion, stuff like that. Um, but you know, sometimes you kind of have to realize when you're at that ending point, when you got to know to get off the train. So uh, I think you all get what I'm kind of getting at here. Um, it's better to burn out than fade away. So I think my time here as myth is done. He I is lived, taking his ball and running I've, home I've with it. I've lived a pretty good career and all that stuff. So, you know, uh, a long time ago when the commissioner started the TWA, it was just him uh, starting his own company, and he had me, Mr. Sexy, MDG, and Showtime. And, you know, he, he, we, he took a gamble on an idea, on like a, you know, a chance at something great. And it is. And now the TWA is a living, breathing, moving thing thinking machine and it just makes greatness all by itself and so uh, that's it for me I'm turning in my cards and uh, travel abroad but um, just know it's not a myth and it's not the end of me this is just thank you and goodbye it, it, it's leaving I don't uh huh? it's basically it, calling it a day and leaving oh, it's, it's ready it's packed oh Taking his ball and going home. Yeah. What's going on? What are, you, what are you doing? I'm out, man. I'm retiring. And you see back there? You can't quit. I, I am quitting. I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. No. What are you doing, Mr. Sexy? It, it's Mr. Gordon. Whatever. You can't quit, though. I mean, I've got too much to get. Yeah, my spark's out. My greatness is done, man. There's other people that can carry the torch now. Not like you, man. Like you. you can join me. You can join me in the WLF. Join me! Because now you're leaving the TWA. That's good. But you can join the WLF. Join me. I mean, what's in it for me, though? Like, Listen. <laughs> you're quitting. TWA. So you have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. But with the WLF, you have everything to gain. Title shot, anything you want. And you know I'm good for it. You know. We have a long past together. We we go back before the camera show. And unlike the title shot you gave me, I'm good for it. <laughs> So you want me to join the WLF, huh? You have nothing, nothing. And I can get whatever I want, huh? I, I will give you a title shot. Anything. How about salaries? Uh, the name your price. Within reason. <laughs> Just think about it. You have, you have too much to offer. You can be great again. This will be a new beginning, a new start. You can be great. Are you going to be great? Are you going to be great? The great myth? The great myth that everyone loves? I tell you, I tell you what, Mr. Sexy, whatever, <laughs> you, have, you have a chance at something big here. So do I. And you, great, you have a great proposition. I mean, it's, a, it's an awesome proposition you're giving me. And I have to be crazy to pass it up. And I know you're good for it, I can see it. You know, like, I know you won't be like the commissioner or hacks even. But, I'm gonna have to think about it. Oh, oh yes, yes. I'm gonna have to think about, think it. about it, all you, all you need. But, uh, just to give me an answer next week. All right, <laughs> you got it, thanks. Oh, but myth, just remember, if we can't be friends, we'll be enemies. You don't have to take it that far. <laughs> I never had a choice.
right, and here we begin the eight-man Hard Havoc Championship match. Wait a second. Wait a minute. He is one of the latest draft picks to the WLF half of the TWA. But one has to wonder if Yummy got to join him or not. Despite his claims, he is still the third draft pick and he is still part of the WLF. Whether he likes it or not, has per the agreement by King Hags and Mr. Damn Gorgeous. Now, let's see what these gentlemen have to say. Showtime! You came out and hit me with a weapon last week. And this is an offense worth being taken care of by yourself. <coughs> and in your, your match tonight, a three-way match with Block on Yusaki, Yusaki will take his revenge and beat you for my stitches. Master Yami, if you don't mind, if I can speak for a moment to you. You talk he's realized something here in the TWA through his illustrious career, giving rid of the Hard Havoc Championship and beating Blocko's streak. You talk he realized he is the most powerful individual in TWA or WLF history. But you talk he found one weakness when he was searching through his soul. And you thought he realized the one thing holding him back from being the greatest was you, Ashley Army. What? Wait a minute. Are, are you serious? Wait a minute! He's turning on Yami. He's got him in that bear hug. No, you're sucking. What a vicious bear hug. He's gonna... Take and off. belly to belly! You killed your sulky bad bastard, Oh, and there's that... There's that, uh... Tiki tantrum. You sulky, he's not a master. Because you sulky... The pupil has turned on his master. Ever since he has been drafted, here it is, and Tiki Bomb! What more can you say? This is a betrayal like none other. This draft is tearing everything apart. You suck easy down there now. And as he has eliminated his so-called weakness. You suck, he needs nothing. Because you suck, he is everything. He needs no master your man. He's master you suck, he now. He has become the master. He is also the number three draft pick in the WLF. And as we see Yami laying out, hurting, crying out in pain. We will now take a break. Coming up next. It'll be the eight-man match for the vacant Hard Havoc Championship. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, wow, the stuff with Yami. I can't believe Yusaki did that. It's crazy, Donnie. All right, but if we can finally get on to our eight-man match for yes. the vacant Hard Havoc Championship. It's going to start out as a four, fatal four-way elimination, and the other four guys will come out as each whoever's eliminated. Eliminations and, come by pinfall or submission, exactly. inside or outside Hard of the Havoc ring. Hard Havoc rules, pinfall, submissions, everywhere, anywhere, anything goes. Coming out first, James Jenkins. All right. Coming out now. Right now. Oh, there he is. There he is. The neck wrestler from the swamps. Oh, oh, oh two stepping, two brothers. stepping. Oh, oh. One half of the Jenkins brothers from the swamps. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually later on in this match. Say what, say what you will. He could be. Get the laser, man. I'm winning. Oh, 
The only thing we know is he's the first man, but you know, there is no telling how the rest of them will come along. Yeah. The only thing we know is James is the first one. So, you know, and as the surprises keep on coming, who is entrant number two? Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh my oh. God. He is the former corporate team enforcer. Ladies. This Skull. is gold. I had no idea he was entered into the Hard Habit Tournament for this eight-man vacancy for I the mean, Hard Habit Championship. He's from the School of Hard Knocks, Johnny, so... I mean, he is taking hits, he is giving hits. He had just defeated Magical Jester last week, if you remember, his first solo debut. He also gave Hacks a hell of a run at the last pay-per-view at Rage, so he may be in a prime position to win the Hard Habit Championship. Well, all right, then. Maybe you need to eat a little bit. All right. I'll see her third Trash talking. And here is our third contestant coming out now. All right. Oh, oh wait a minute. No here he is. This is Coco. Coco. Get the Coco rolling around. All right. All right. He is rolling. <laughs> what a nut. Out to the ring, Donnie. Perfect Hilarious. stop. You got to wonder if he's feeling a little bit dizzy or not. He probably but is. The chicken man, ladies and gentlemen. Kako, he the he is Kako. All right, we got three out here. One more for the first oh. four. Oh, that's right. Uh, as Kako tentatively, tentatively makes his way into the ring, we now have our fourth contestant. Let's see who our fourth man is in right now in this uh, beginning of the Fatal Four Way for the Hard Havoc Championship. Up. Oh. There he is! Oh, you can't mistake oh, that, Australian oh, man, right there! Stop it! Hey, hey, rest all these crocs and I'm right! Alright, so as the first fatal four way, the first four men, you will oh, have. Oh, oh, stop! Oh, you will have no, no, no. You will have no. Taco and you will have uh, Croc Bundy and his lunges. Enough. You got the idea. You like your junk hanging out. I don't know what it is with our zombie referees, but they're apparently coming out from under the ring. Oh. So now that we have a ref in the ring, let's ring the bell. Wow. Da -ding -ding. Okay, and the match is underway. Once again, as this is a hard havoc match, falls and submissions do count anywhere. And Skull seems to be playing smart right here, actually. He's kind of staying out of the action, trying to save himself for later on, would you not think? Uh, yeah. Right now, the strategy in this, if you're in this early, you need to survive. Oh, too, what, what? You need to survive, you need to thrive. Oh, oh and what a vicious DDT. What the hell, what in the turn? He's bringing in the traffic cone, it's Croc Bundy. Take your time. <laughs> Oh, what the, that is a noggin knocker right off the traffic cone. Uh, and here's Skull with oh. the side slam to Kako. So the hammer? Oh, there's another noggin knocker. There, that is by James Jenkins. Croc Bundy in the meanwhile going to look for some toys. Oh! There's the Frisbee. We've seen that all too many times in these hard Havoc championship matches. Here he is, here he is, Kako pecking away at, oh, oh. Right now, say what you will. Here's a cover, one, oh. He is, and he seems to be rolling him up man. one, two, that two. Where did he go, mate? These four are just giving quite an interesting effort here for the Hard Habit Champion. Hey. Straight Good over shot. the head. Here is Skull. What's he doing here? Setting up Kako and oh, th there looks like a crushing finale to me. Oh, and looks like Crop Bundy had something in mind, but he got his come up. I am. And the, the match is so frantic and fast paced in this. You wonder what all is going to truly happen. And this isn't even our main event, considering we have Yusaki, Blocko, and Showtime later in a triple threat match with no title even on the line. Ooh, oh, wait that's a bicycle kick. There's that bicycle kick. One, two, <laughs> three. Oh. Wait a minute. Kako has been eliminated by J James Jenkins. That is right. What are you thinking, boy? You like me. Oh. Kako has been eliminated. He yeah. must now. <laughs> oh, he just fell out of the ring. Hey. Back up. 
You know, you got to wonder about each of the strategies of these contestants. What you are you know, doing, man? They're definitely taking their time. You know, they're punishing each other, but if they're playing it smart, they're staying out of the way and taking their time. And there was the... And, oh, right to the unprotected well, ribs, and there's bing. one, oh, oh not even one, Ow. not even one, is he, and, and there's, there's a cover on skull, one, one two. two, how much of a boon would it be if either one of these two men were to pin the former corporate enforcer? Oh, were they teaming up for a second? I've seen it. Uh, sometimes you will see strange alliances. Oh. Yeah, do you know? And in this one, there can't be any stranger than an Australian and a Southern. Oh. Oh. Off the head, oh. off the head again and again into that violent suplex. Oh. And he's going, is he going for uh -oh. the, is he going for? He, you know what this means. Here comes that knee drop. Come on, mate. There's that butter bees and onions knee drop. And as he goes for the cover, one, <laughs> two, three. Oh. That's James Jenkins in an upset. Has pinned Skull. And here comes the next entrance. This. Uh, uh, one, two, three. Uh, oh. Crocodile is left alone. Wow. All by himself. Well, let's get the next oh, guy. Buccaneer, run. Oh. Buccaneer, run. I, I cannot believe this. Oh! Maybe, maybe, blood man. Oh! This. And you gotta remember, Crop Bundy was maybe been the fourth oh. man. But right now, he has had to endure the most punishment out of anyone out of this match. Hey! Hey, you need peg leg. Hey! Logan. As James is forced to leave. Yep, your leg and hurt. Logan. As James is forced to leave. Right now, uh, Buccaneer Ron is in a prime oh, position. Oh, oh. And I mean prime position. Is that a toy oh, car? Hey, he's got a toy car. He looks like he's Dying. trying to get away. Get back here. It doesn't look like he's oh, trying yeah. to get away. It he's trying like to make he's trying traffic to get away, to but it's not working at, oh, oh! Knocked off the car. The action is spilled to the outside. They literally the ring, means. And Donnie, it is getting ugly fast. The, the traffic cone mean, literally I stopped traffic, her. Donnie. Oh, <laughs> right I off forget. the head. Ouch. Let me tell you about the fruits. <laughs> oh, those are some very good fruits. There is. Let me tell you about them. The, hey, the, the fruits? Oh! oh! The fruits. Right, right. Oh yes, I forgot. Did he hit him in the fruits? It's been a while since I've been on land. Let's see. There's oh, one, one two, two, three. three. Wait a minute, Buccaneer Run has just defeated Crocodile Bun D. Oh wow. Well, I'm not lying. There's got to be someone else around here. Right now, there's five participants, but the other three seem to be playing it extremely smart. They seem to be biding their time. They know exactly who their opponent is. They know exactly what's going on and they know exactly what they're doing and how to take them out. Wait a minute, there's Croc Bundy in Oh, oh he needs, Croc what's he still Bundy. doing? Oh, oh. Not the fruits. Oh, oh. Croc Bundy has already been eliminated, not but. The, not the oranges. Then not again, the oranges. Oh. oh. Croc Bundy getting a measure of revenge. <laughs> He's getting a measure of revenge for being eliminated in this let's, hard Let's hat get the next person in here. I am a ship. One thing is for so, sure though, Buccaneer Ron may be down, but I'll go ahead and tell you one thing. He has a prime position to be the new Hard Habit Champion. Oh, he's down right Wait now. Wait a minute, oh my God, what? Are you serious? If somebody else could come out and capitalize. Wait a minute, wait a minute. minute, are you serious? Oh, uh, oh my this God. Is on a this is a This is a former Hard Habit Champion. Look at that mask. This. Poison Ivy. Look at that. This. He's a former hard habit contender all by himself, and right now he's got wow. Ron. Considering he, and this is just the, I, the returning. Oh, oh. Ah. Right now, Poison Ivy sauntering, okay, slowly ship. taking his well, let time. Me play with you for a bit. Not even, not even taking oh. it seriously. Just oh. and what we got here? Oh, 
Oh, oh pile driver. What a vicious pile driver. Oh, oh, oh. And he's oh. going away. He's beating him up, Donnie. This is crazy. It is just insane. There's that uh, traffic cone. Is that kid uh. trying to cut him off the head? Right now, I will go ahead and say this. Despite the fierce action that's going on in the ring, at the end of this match, there will be a first-time new Hard Havoc champion. I know. It's all thanks to Yusaki, really, for vacating the title. Could anyone have beaten Yusaki for it? There's really no telling at this point. I mean, if he beat Blocko's undefeated streak. But to interrupt, Donnie, we've got this, uh... What is this? Well, oh, oh, powerbomb power onto the traffic cone. Kind of like a, a rum barrel. <laughs> It was almost like a combination of a power bomb. Whoa, whoa, what the? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. Uh, he's whoa. feeling it. He's feel. I think he's feeling a kick. Oh. oh! What a version of a heel kick. And he's still walking around. I think he's... <laughs> oh, whoa. Poison Ivy may have missed that one, but I'll go ahead and tell you, he's not going to miss again. <laughs> These last two competitors in this eight-man hard habit match, I'm telling you, this is not going oh. to oh, right I outside am. of the that, ring. Donnie? Right outside. Right outside of the ring. Poison Ivy just knocked Buccaneer Ron outside of the ring with that traffic cone. Whoa. Right now, Poison Ivy is the number one favorite to win this match. I wonder who the next component's gonna come out of in a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but then again, you know, these these oh, are playing just, it smart. Like just these two fight it out. Just tossed them like nothing. I mean, how else can you do it other than by letting these two fight it out? Uh, uh, help me up. But anyway, you see Poison Ivy grabbing Buccaneer Ron yet again. Buccaneer Ron trying to muster some offense. Oh! oh. <coughs> There's that kick to the back of the head. Traffic cone. Oh! Bam. Across the shoulder blades and the back of the head direct to Poison Ivy. Damn. Two of them. Oh, oh. I don't think he's that strong, but... <laughs> what? He, he's got the one. Go! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the Whoa. guy coming out. Whoa. This is the martial artist. He has been proven lately in the main event scene. He has been involved with big stars such as Myth, and now he is getting his own chance to shine in the spotlight. Oh, with his oh, shot oh, at the TWA Hard Havoc Championship. Nice. Oh, he's got the chucks. He has got the chucks, those oh, hey. chucks that he is famous for. It's not the first time, and it's not the last. Uh, you know what he's no, oh, 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 you hear I the think pain. that hurt. <laughs> oh, and you continuously hear the pain. Oh, the pain, Donnie, the pain. I don't know who this last guy is coming out, but I'll go ahead and tell you, he has got to be the smartest of the eight competitors here tonight by just coming out and going when he chooses. Yeah, I mean, once again, it's all about strategy, and right now, I'm going to oh, by God, back of the head. Right now, I am favoring Wang Yi or the Mystery 8th guy to win this match more than I am no. anybody else. I mean, they, they're the most wrestled. That was like a roundhouse kick. Still hasn't got eliminated. Maybe, but eventually time will take his toll. For that, Donnie. Time, time will tell. Two. But again, endurance is key to this event. And all three men are down. Wang Yi's starting to stir. Oh. Getting up in this match. Uh, Here oh. is Wang Yi back on the assault with the Chucks. Ouch. You know, it's been some time since we've seen a cover or a submission, so wait a minute. I'm I'm feeling it. Here comes the Daikin Kai and Daikin Kai. Oh. Right there. Is that a pin? Onto the lid, and there's one, one two, two, three. three. Buccaneer Ron has been eliminated. Oh, uh-oh. This right now. The eighth man has still not come out, but uh, wait a minute. I've heard that music before. Here comes our eighth and final competitor. This You want to talk about someone who's a former hard habit competitor? Well, this guy actually lasted in the final oh, wow. of the very first ever hard habit tournament finals. Oh, I that mean, looks how, like that hurt. You would have never thought it, but this guy actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mechanical 8, Blocko. Oh. 
And right now, Poison Ivy has Wayne Yi. Oh my God! Wow! Damn. What a what a version of a spike pile driver! Oh! Man. Breaking up the cover, though I don't see why. <laughs> right now, you've got John and James. He probably doesn't want to fight Poison Ivy. If, you know, it's probably a smart thing to break it up. That way, uh, he can get eliminated. Oh! oh. But then again, I can see the strategy. Here's here's Wayne Gee. See, look at the. Here, oh, he's well. going after Wayne Gee. One, two. Oh, son of a see, monster. see, that's where that's where John made. Yeah. That's where John made the mistake. Should have he should have pinned Poison Ivy there. He should have pinned Poison Ivy. He gave Wayne Gee way too much time to recover. Oh. And the action starting to spill outside of the ring, Donnie. It is starting to spill outside of the ring, and all the while, Poison Ivy has been given so much time. To Trash recover. can. Oh. oh. Nice aim. You look at these three guys. One of these guys. What's going on over here? Oh, to, damn, wait a minute, sun. wait a minute, wait a minute. The sun's blinding. There's Poison Ivy. One, two. Oh, there's only two. Two count. Wengi isn't done yet. And right now, Poison Ivy. I'm about to box him up like a crazy boxer. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Hell. There goes those vicious strikes. It. Oh, oh! Off the head of John Jenkins, the former Hard Havoc contender. Rolling on him with the senton and one, two, two only. You little Chinese bastard, you. Oh, Jack, it's off. <laughs> Poison Ivy is about to kick it into a whole nother gear. Oh, was that a knockout? Thunder punch like Pikachu style. <laughs> oh, there was the knockout shot. Oh, oh, he dodged. Oh, he missed. Oh! Right in the head. Look at John. What's he? <laughs> and just, John is down. There's got to be. There's got to be some kind of way. Wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing? Going for oh. the cover. And there's one, two. Oh, oh two only. Kick out. I guess we can see now, John, though his antics may look dumb, we can see why he was a former Hard Havoc contender. What's going on over here? <laughs> In the meantime, while these two are fighting, Poison Ivy has all the time he needs to recover. Oh, he blocked it. Wang Yi's about to get another gear counter. here. I guess one, two, two only. Oh. I guess Wang Yi's part of being part of the main event scene with Myth is starting to amp up his game some. Would you not think? Uh, I would think. You dirty little rat. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost missed that. Shot the poison ivy on the outside. Oh. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, there's that Russian leg sweep. And going for the pin. One. Uh, just one. Well, dang. How dang. much? How much fight does this warrior have in him? I am the Thor. The Thor. He is the Thor. Bio oh. beard. Mallet off the back. Mallet off the. Oh, using it like a golf club, targeting the hamstring and the quad. There's the cord break, the chicken elbow. He is. He got all of it. And there's one, two, three. Yeah. The rip's like moshing over there. So now you're witnessing your final Oi. two. You have Poison Ivy oh. and John Jenkins. <clears throat> this is literally for all the marbles Wait, here. Oh. Oh. I think he just Wait, hit his marbles. Oh. Can't we talk Poison Ivy? Oh, oh. there is no talking. Oh, that. To Poison Ivy. I don't know if that was such a good hey, idea. Hey, oh, Whoa. and Wayne hey, getting hey, a better hey, of the hey, the border, the border, the border. There's the border. Oh, Kai on the stage. My God. And another rolling senton to the point. Wasn't he, uh. Did he just give the nod to Poison Ivy to practically finish him? Then again, he did eliminate him fair and square. Oh. So now, a weekend John Jenkins and a recovering Poison Ivy. Why are these guys always got to hit so hard? <coughs> I don't get it. Poison Ivy is wasting valuable time. Oh, kick to the face. Uh, but maybe not as much valuable time as you would there think. There we go again. <laughs> oh. I think John just got his second win. 
Maybe. Oh, there's a car. MKO out of nowhere. <laughs> there is that. MKO. I tried to spin that ranker. He fu he fudged up, and there you go. You muffed this one up, Johnny. <laughs> I tend to look at his more of a cutter well, than anything, but right now, I think he's showboating too much and giving <laughs> biscuit John mom for you, biscuit Jared. mom. Man. Oh, there's that biscuit oh, bomb. Probably should have put some more power to that. Yeah. He's showboating way too much. It's gonna cost him. I tell you. All what. right, he's got the cover, and there's. This is over, boy. And there's one. This is over. Two. Was, oh, was, was, the ref, was the ref he's like watching him? Oh, I think it cost him on that one. What you say? And they continue to take the action outside of the ring. I got something for you. Battery. Here we go. He's, he's, he's chopping away. He's chopping away at him. Oh. Oh. Both sides of the head. And there's a cover ref. One. Two. Oh, there's two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right as the ref's hand was about to come down for three. Maybe they should uh Oh and the ref is down. Oh always gotta cheat. Oh, Wait a minute, and here it is. Crap. No. Oh, oh there's that there's that modified pile driver that he's been doing lately. Is that up him? And oh, but he, he can't. For a cover, but he can't. There is no ref right now. The ref is down and out. Fire up the cloners. <laughs> there, there is right now. The ref is down. He is hurting. He is pinned for about 27. There's one. What? Two. Wait, oh, what? he kicked out at two. You hurt my what? You hurt my Come on, argument. James. I ain't gonna lose this match without my brother winning. I'm gonna get you up. I'm gonna up on you. Oh, <laughs> the, here you go. We got James Jenkins in there now, trying to get a measure of revenge. James has been eliminated, but John does have a golden opportunity with his brother interfering. This is no disqualification. This is no count out. Watch fried green tomatoes. Oh, Ugh. he may have Ugh. just put him out with that. Oh, and again, what agility from Poison Ivy. I've never seen that kind of agility. Wait a oh, minute. And, kudzu. Oh, there's that kudzu drop. No way. Poison Ivy is fighting an Or was that actually, I think that here. was the lethal venom. Poison Ivy is literally fighting an uphill battle because these two right here in the ring that are with him are also number former number one contenders for those tag team titles. Oh, I think they need to hurry up. And right now they are showing why they are doing a number on Poison Ivy. I mean, uh, yeah. how much more can these two do to each other? Uh, rolling them up. Oh, there's a oh. there's small package one. Two, three, three, that's five. it. Poison Ivy has just no. won the vacant no. Hard Habit Championship. That, that's the bell. Wait, you're saying that's, wait, the ref's only saying that's two. That's what I said. Two. That is only two. Saying? Two. I swore I saw that hand drop for three. That, that is two. only two. <laughs> Damn terrorist. <laughs> I mean, as the match just progresses and oh, continues, oh, how much? Oh, 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 there is no disqualification. Here it is. Automatic nut shot. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh. That has got to be it. There is no more. And here we go. There's a pin. Here is one, two, three. That's it. There is. For real, that's it. That is it. That is it. We now have a new Hard Havoc champion Poison in Ivy. Poison Ivy. And what a vicious win and victory for the now new Hard Havoc champion. Oh my God. You have a new Hard Havoc champion in Poison Ivy. He has just presented him with 
the TWA Hard Havoc Championship. And for the first time in his career, he has now held his first singles title. What an amazing accomplishment. Oh! It is, but then again, everything does. How long is how long is it been since the European title has come into play? And as we see John down on the ground, we are going to cut to a commercial break. And we, as we prepare for our main event, it will be Showtime versus Blocko versus Usopp. Glad I caught you back here. Uh, I was thinking, you know, this whole triple threat match, yeah, I don't, it's not really necessary for me to be out there. I mean, as we saw earlier, Yusaki doesn't give a shit about Yami anymore. And, and that's what we were fighting about, was I attacked Yami. And, uh, you know, so really, I guess he probably doesn't even care about me anymore. And, and I've really already, I beat Blocko. I, I could beat, I would have beat Yusaki last week, but Blocko came out. Um, so I really think it better to let the lovers quarrel and, and kind of let me hang back this time. I don't want to make them look bad, you know, I mean, they're supposed to be tough, undefeated, I, and you know, I, it, it'd be bad for business. I'm sure you understand, bad for business. And uh, I was just coming to tell you that, uh, I think I'd just step back and, and let them handle it tonight. You know what? I listen to your situation, and let me tell you, you're one of my draft picks. I listen to my people. And, and I'm happy. I'm fair to my people. So this is what I'm do. I'm sympathetic to your situation. You have no business dealing with this match. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. This is what I'll do for you, Mr. Showtime. Mm -hmm. You're out of the match. Okay. This I is mean, what I'll do for you. Perfect. But in exchange, you'll be the guest referee <laughs> for the match. And um, this is a no disqualification match. <laughs> All right. All right, have a nice day. Enjoy the TWA. To the TWA. Welcome back to the TWA. Man, today has been the most dramatic show I think we've had in a while since the commissioner got fired by his son, Hacks. Like, just so many big things, dude. And we're getting ready for our main event, which is our Blocko Yusaki. And if you saw earlier, Showtime swindled his way out of the match. Well, not completely, but he's the new guest referee. But it's no DQ, so we'll see how that goes, Donnie. All right, um, we're on but we're, with the match. We're getting ready for this now, um, for the match. So I guess, who are we going to bring up? Whoa, who's this? Is that? Oh, wait a second, I think that's, that's MDG's new music for the WLF. MDG, Donnie. I'm digging the new music. Wow, look at him. He's all like dressed up, all like fancy and stuff. Yeah, he's got some. He's got that briefcase. Wow. What is he doing? Well, what is? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Donnie. I was gonna be the main event. Look at him though. He's all. We hadn't heard him talk in weeks. I wonder if he's gonna say something here. Show us what's on the briefcase. I know that's what I want to know. The beginning of enlightenment is your version of what we call the truth. What is the truth, one may ask? Webster's Dictionary defines the truth as this. The true or actual state of a matter, conformity with fact or reality. Honesty, integrity, truthfulness. And what is the opposite of that? A lie. Webster's Dictionary of a Lie. A false statement made with deliberate, deliberate intent to deceive. A falsehood. 
something intended or serving I'm to convey a false me. impression. Imposture. He hasn't spoken in weeks, and this is what he comes out with. Like crazy. Let me explain to you people something. I've understood a few truths as of late. One of them is the fact that when you come to these events, I don't come to see you. You come to see me. You work at your five hour, five dollar an hour desk jobs. You trade in your food stamps. You sell off your loose women like prostitutes to any man who would have them all for a chance to bear witness to the truth that I'm bringing to you today because I am an honest man. I am a good man. And it saddens me that you parasites here in the studio audience it saddens me that you're so filled with lies hatred and conviction of your own misdeeds do you not sin every day as I do do you not lie to yourselves to others I don't because I am an honest man I will tell you nothing but the truth. See, you look at me and say, how can I tell the truth like this? Here is the truth. They call me the rock star. What is that? A drug addict? An alcohol user? No. No, I'll tell you what I really am. I am now the franchise of this business. Whoa, Donnie. You may as well call me the franchise MDG. The because franchise. It stands for the truth. It stands for greatness. The lies perpetrated by the TWA superstars about me. Let me tell you the truth. I am the only undefeated TWA champion in history. This is true. Whoa. I am a former three time European champion. I am a former hardcore champion. But all that pales in comparison with the truth that I've recently learned. One that you people are like a fungal parasitic growth, like athlete's foot. That you would need a fungal spray or a cream to cleanse. You people need the truth as much as I do. You people need to believe in what I'm saying to you because it will save you. It saved me. Look at me now, well-dressed, well-groomed, full of talent, full of vigor, full of life. But you look at greatness one more time. You wonder. He's opening the briefcase, Donnie. Let's oh my look God. at one thing. God, he's the briefcase. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? What is it, Donnie? You see, you people mock me and ridicule me ever since I got stripped of my TWA championship, but that's okay because I have a new truth. The truth lies not in this briefcase because just like you people right now, it's empty, full of lies, hmm. full of deceit. But what is in my hands, I was the first, I was the last, and now I am again. What is it, Donnie? I am. What? L F. <laughs> Champion. Oh my god, that's Again. what Mr. That's what he gave. Him. That's what Mr. Damn Gorgeous gave him. Oh my god. You want legitimacy? It's the WLF title. I thought I'd never see that again, Donnie. 
You want legitimacy? Look at it, it's gorgeous. You want the truth? I mean, it's horrible. <clears throat> this is my birthright. This is the real truth in which no TWA superstar could ever understand. Oh my God. What? Oh thank my God. Thank you for your indulgence. I can't believe this, Donnie. And He's thank you for allowing me to it's convey the truth. It's a freaking WLF championship. He's WLF champion. No, like, oh my gosh, that's what was in the briefcase. I can't believe it. Wow. Be aware. This is the truth in which I'm bringing to you. Don't let it be in vain. Embrace it. Oh my God, this is a side of MDG I've never seen before, Donnie. Oh, great. He's a freaking WLF champion. He's the WLF champion. I cannot believe this crap. Uh, I guess I will go to a break. We'll go to a break and we'll be right back with our main event. Wow, WLF. All right, and welcome back. What a controversial statement made by the now newly dubbed franchise. But yeah, other than that, you know, now we have our main event. It is going to be, um, now the main event has been changed. It is going to be Blocko versus Yusaki one-on-one -on -one in a no disqualification match with all people Showtime as the referee for this match. There he Speaking comes. Up, here comes the former TWA champion. If we can see him. Oh, you can't miss Showtime. His appearance is loud. His actions is very loud. Him out of the game. That may make sense for me to be here. I'm so much better. Uh, I don't know. Everybody's so free. Contrary to the theme song you hear, he is not free in this match. He has to do this in order to maintain his status and dignity within the PWA. All right, you see the special guest referee in the ring in Showtime, and now coming out to the ring. First, he is the mechanical ape and a former hard having champion. This is Blocko. but there's no difficulty about what you're seeing here. This is the Mechanical Wave. He is a former hard habit champion and the first hard habit champion in CWA history. There is no difficulty about that whatsoever, Donnie. You're about to go into a main event with these two with no disqualification, and you wonder what kind you wonder what kind of role Showtime's really going to be playing in all this. I really don't know what to think. I mean, I don't know what to think. I don't know I mean, if I were Showtime, I would have stayed in the match. Two weeks ago, when Blocko comes up, Blocko! And you see the special referee doesn't exactly look intimidated or impressed. Where's this referee here? He sits there kind of bored, and he has no referee shirt on, so clearly he's defying authority as he sees fit. All right, next person. And coming out next, he is the only undefeated hard heavy champion in history. He is from the islands of Samoa. This is Yusaki.
But ironically, a TWA superstar is the special referee. Let's not forget that. How will that factor into this match? And as we ring the bell, ring a ding, 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 ding. And the two are starting off. Right now, the obviously, honestly, I do not like Yusaki's odds. Depending on how you look at it, I mean, yes, Yusaki is undefeated, but there is also the fact that there is a TWA superstar as the special referee. And, and speaking of the special referee, look at him. He's, he's just chillaxing. He's, he's just taking a seat. I mean, what next? Is he going to come over here and announce with us while the match is going on? Automatic. They thought uh, see, about it. You heard it. You heard it here, folks. He's thought about it. And while this is happening, you know, you're watching Blanco and Yusaki. I mean, these two have come a long way from their original debuts. I mean, at this point, Showtime's just looking bored and uninterested in their match. And smashing, smashing. Oh, uh, smashing. Oh. oh. And that is the... That, apparently that was the immovable object me meeting uh, the other immovable object. Yeah, that. And... These two are iron does sharpen iron, Donnie. Yeah, these and German. What a German with the release. Oh. And, and they're locking up, going to the Irish whip. Oh. Ow. Shoulder first. Now that. Shoulder first. Now you have got to wonder if that is going to play some part on this match, knowing Blocko's shoulder is uh. went to the steel. You have to wonder how much pain and pressure they're going to put each other through. Is that a pin? Through. And there's a pin. One. Lap, just one. You can clearly tell Showtime looks uh, bored and unenthused. Yeah. Like I said, I'm surprised he isn't joining us at the announce table right now. Want to do some commentary with us. He doesn't care about you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't blame him. Then again, who does he care about? I mean, his ego and his attitude. You know, it wouldn't be surprising. Oh! What a devastating move by Blocko. And there's, there's another pan. There's one. Uh, still one. His count seemed kind of slow. I'm actually and surprised that he rushed for that pin. I am too. It's like, once again, it's a TWA versus WLF battle here at Blockbuster. He right caught it early. That. Here it is in one. Stop. One. one count again. Showtime is clearly counting slow. He has no care or interest in this match. These two are basically just going to beat Jeez. the hell out of each other all night long. And uh, here's you speaking of beating each other all night long. Tiki Bomb from one end to the other. That is all impact into Another the cover. Pan. One, two, up. Uh, there was two. He seemed to be counting a little faster for Yusaki there. You gotta wonder if the fact that he was attacking Yusaki's former master had something to do with all this. Oh! Yeah, uh, you gotta wonder when the no disqualification part of the match is really going to come into effect, Donnie. Oh, and what a belly to belly! And Yusaki's definitely going on the attack here and Showtime apparently is just not even caring. He's just lighting up a smoking a gee. He's just lighting a cigar and just doing his thing. Smoking his geese. Smoking his geese. Look at that. Ran the block. Oh. Oh, Blocko tantrum. He's got him. German. With the release. <clears throat> and oh, oh. God. he's going for it again and he's trying to Oh. There's no telling who got the worst of that, but no, I think Yusaki got the majority of it. Blanco didn't quite get all of it that he wanted, and Yusaki is able to capitalize and take full advantage. Oh! 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 Yusaki Yusaki Tantrum with. And Showtime's kind of cheering him on. He's tender. He's tender. He's tenderizing. Oh! The fan at Showtime. 
He just ruined the cigar, man. It's a pain. He just ruined Showtime's break. What a d <laughs> Done broke his gi. Oh, hell. <laughs> and oh, here's the cover, and bin. here's one, two, up. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, he just flicked He up. had him, but he what? just all of a sudden flicked him off. That's what you get for ruining his it's smokes. Just, you shocked he had a three count. Yeah, I believe Showtime just cost him the match. Uh, let, let me listen to that. What'd you say? Oh, earshot, earshot. Hey, he's got him. Setting him up, Tiki Bomb. Oh! oh chair shot to the face. Oh, another shot to the face, and the action is spilling outside fast. No, no, no! Oh! The cone and the mini bike. Oh, Blocko Tantrum on the ground. We have seen this vicious side of Blanco once before, and more than just once before, we've seen it a lot when he gets this way. This is his match to have if he can do it. Whoa, and he throws it back Blanco. into the ring. Blanco is doing good. Back into the ring. Oh, no. oh, there's that double axe handle that Blanco is so fond of. Since there's no disqualification, there's no rope breaks. Go, Blanco's doing a little slam off the top. And, oh, oh. missed with the diving headbutt. He went for and it all missed. and he got nothing. A whole bunch of weight came yeah. down and it went And, nowhere. oh, with oh. the Blanco. But disrespect. He touched the block. He ought to be pissed. He touched the block. He touched the Blanco. Blanco went for it all with that diving headbutt. And he paid for it dearly. Yusaki has all the advantage he needs because right now he is on arguably the biggest role of anyone in the TWA. He has got this mean undefeated streak and just a mean streak in general. And superplex off the second rope or off the second bar. And here comes Yusaki going. Wait a minute, Yusaki isn't going for the cover. He's, as he goes for the cover, Showtime's just sitting there. He doesn't he's, seem to care. He's like, Showtime. Oh, oh! Right to the, what a cheap shot, but a necessary cheap shot. Wait a minute, here we go. Setting him up and power bomb. What a vicious power bomb. Oh, and he's got a pin. And one, two, uh, two. He he did give a fair count that time. Just a two count, just a two count, but it's only fair against one person. Yeah, I mean, right now it's up. And then Blockbuster. Blockbuster for a second time. There's one, two, uh, two again. Even Showtime is looking annoyed that he cannot deny that Yusaki cannot be put down. Yusaki. Right now, Yusaki is showing oh. why he has that mean undefeated streak here in the TWA. Blocko really has a challenge he must overcome. Wait a minute, no, you cannot be serious. Not from the, oh, from the second. Freaking blockbuster off the top, when the hell, what happened? Oh. Oh. Violence flash and one, two, three, that's it. The streak yeah, is it. over! Blocko has just screwed! But Blocko has just pinned Yusaki, albeit with a little help of Showtime. It, it's unbelievable! Blocko finally did it! But can he honestly say he did it on his own? At this point, though, it doesn't matter. The win is the win. So, can we say that Showtime kind of beat Yusaki in a way? Even though he wasn't in the match. Dude, uh, I, there's no way to really say. Showtime could not pin Blocko. Blocko! But clearly, clearly in this battle, the TWA has struck first blood. No, 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 no,
fight another day. Okay. Give it up for this guy. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, cheap shot. What a cheap shot. To the TWA. What a match we just witnessed between uh, Yusaki and Blocko. And I what mean, a match for the ages. Showtime did. There is just it no. All, yeah. Showtime. You always wonder, could Yusaki have won that match if it wasn't for Showtime, you know, d him out? Uh, well, guess we'll never know. Um, oh, what's this? That's good commission. You can't mistake that. He is the TWA champion. His third appearance tonight, Donnie. The TWA champion and one half the commissioner of the organization and runner of the TWA now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing that pisses me off more than anything else, and that's being outstaged. I believe I haven't gotten myself enough stage time. Oh, Not wow. at all. I hate being outclassed and outmatched by these uh, two deviants, these two uh, MDGs. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, what we just had wasn't the main event at all. Whoa, are you hearing it? What is he what saying, Donnie? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make myself my own main event. Whoa. I'm gonna have myself an all-star title match. Yes, that's it. For another match, three in a row. I hate to say it, but he is being a fighting champion. Holy crap. I'm on a streak, I'm on a hot streak, and I might as well keep on going, keep on rolling. <clears throat> and what I'll do now, I'll bring out my next challenge, my next opponent. I'll give him a, a title shot. And I'll be wow. right out, Magical Jester. What? What? Are you serious? You just challenged Magical Jester to an all-star title match. You gotta be joking me, Donnie. Say what you will, but he is getting the opportunity of a lifetime. Magical Jester has an all-star championship match against Tags. Like no way. Say what you will, but this is an opportunity he may never get again. See, Donnie. You know what? Donnie, this is just cockiness. Once in a while. And I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm laughing already. I guess let's get a ref in here and ring that bell. Well, the All Star Championship is on the line. Oh my, hold up. And he's on the slap attack. There's no mistake in this. Uh, Hax is completely unfazed by the slap. And he so. looks annoyed. He's, he's, he's swatting him like a mosquito, Donnie. Damn, damn annoying piece of sh. <laughs> he just chopped him in the chest. He just popped him on the head. What's he doing? He got him in the throat. He, this may be his opportunity. I can't believe this is an all-star title match right now. This oh, may yeah, be his opportunity. Wait a minute. What is he doing here? See, what do I want to do here? Oh, 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 what do we got here? Mm. <laughs> he better come up with some offense. <laughs> what is going on, Donnie? Wait a minute. He's on the move. He's running. Man, so damn boring. Get over there. This is nuts. Like I, I can't believe this is really happening right now. What? He's just playing around. Yeah, he's calling for the wrap up. He's being so We all so know what's cocky. coming here. And hex effect. Oh my God! Did you see that hex effect? Damn, you didn't drop my phone. Oh my God! He broke his neck. You see the torque on his neck, Donnie? Uh, Magical yeah. jester landed so awkwardly. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. The hex effect. And that was the hex effect. Cover your damn shame. He is God still damn, your. I'm so disgusted. Your winner and still your champion. What was the point of that match, Donnie? He is your TWA to be entertained. He is your TWA champion. Wow, still. so three in a row. And there he's beating the ref down. I mean, you gotta have a beaten ref and a beaten opponent. 
because the DWA is my plaything. It is my company and I have every right to enjoy it. I don't think I'm done yet. He's not done. How much more does he have to prove he's already retained his title? I know. Three weeks running. Three you shows running. I don't think there's anyone that can really challenge me. I mean, I beat, I beat the former All-Star title holder. I beat the... <laughs> <laughs> you see Magical Jester biting him, Donnie? He may as well just be prepared. Ow! He just broke his vertebrae. Something tells me there was another yeah. hex effect, but... As you were saying, Commissioner. Anyway, I beat... Uh, the two former uh, title holders, I uh, beat this thing for a title shot. Really, is there not a single person out that could face me? I don't think there is. Wow. In fact, I'll put my bill on the line again for in the next show. Wow. Who wants to challenge it? Are you hearing this, Donnie? An open Damn fight well. challenge for the TWA it's Championship. An open challenge. Who will Anybody, answer? I'm gonna take oh my God. Wait a minute. No. Is this that, is not Is happening. that who I think it's? It, no way. I believe the open challenge. That's Blocko's music. I believe music. the open fight challenge has been answered. You hear the music and you, and you see the concern in his face. You notice something. He has a history with Blocko from first season. Hax has never beaten Blocko in like three tries. I guess that's an exception toward my challenge. Fine, then I'll take it. What do you do? Do you do you do you do? <laughs> right to the face. I don't know what to say, Donnie. Blocko didn't come out though. Like, I don't like. We gotta go. We'll see you next show, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? Shake, 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 Sinora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora, work your body line. Work, 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 Sinora, work it all the time. My girl name is Sinora, I tell your friends I adore her. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. Jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you, jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you, jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you, jump in the line, rock your body on time. Whoa!